Some local programs for underserved youth are getting an influx of cash. WCPO 9 News reporter Anna Azalian shares where the money's coming from and how these programs work to prevent young youth gun violence. Doors here at Golden Gloves for Youth open up at four every weekday. Somewhere kids can go after school and learn a sport. In some instances, we're the last safety net. It starts as boxing lessons, but at Golden Gloves for Youth, the goal isn't to make kids great boxers. And we provide food, um, meals and snacks, career counseling. The streets are trying to get them, <laughs> and um, we're trying to channel them into something that will actually be positive and save lives instead of harm them. Yes. The Hamilton County Commissioners approved funding from its Youth Resiliency Grant for Golden Gloves for Youth Thursday. Executive Director Christina LaRosa says they'll use the funding to buy a van so they can provide transportation to kids, plus add more staff. And if we can get more youth uh, putting down the guns and putting on the gloves and doing something positive, we need to support that. Hamilton County Commissioner's President Alicia Reese says the grant will help programs address social isolation caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, but it can also help prevent and reduce youth gun violence. <laughs> Another program that received funding Thursday is Adopt-A-Class. The organization partners with companies and civic groups to mentor at-risk students. They go into classrooms once a month and teach students about what they do. That's just one fun thing that we do in here. Plus, they go on field trips, something the grant will help them do more of. They plan to take students to college campuses and other post-secondary education opportunities. Our seventh graders will see themselves in the workforce post high school and visit with CPD's um, training facilities and the academy with the Cincinnati Fire Department. The Hamilton County Commissioners will continue to approve funding for organizations like this over the next couple of weeks. Those recommended organizations range from summer camps to youth employment organizations. In Over the Rhine, Anna Azalian, WCPO 9 News.